So morning folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Jack Porter and this is Motor Mogul Channel. Today I'm going to be riding this little beauty. This is the new for 2022 Triumph 1200 Bobber. So if you're interested in the Bobber, stick around and see what I think of it. Don't forget, please like and subscribe to the channel. Really pleases the YouTube gods when you do that and it pushes my video out to a load more people. So let's get on with it. See what this is all about, shall we? So on these smaller sort of suburban roads, it's very well behaved. I think I'm in second gear now, we're just burbling along. But, uh, well, below 30 miles an hour feels nice, composed, a relaxing ride. Next we're going to take it on some quicker roads, speed up a bit around these bends, see how she feels. Keep forgetting I've got to change gear. This does not have DCT. Handles really quite well. In fact, it handles very well. It felt, it felt just, it just feels composed. It feels nice. It feels nice. That sounds very twee, doesn't it? But it does. 1200cc high torque engine. We are going to give it a bit soon and find out how it goes. Fully naked though, so wind blast. But yeah, it just feels like a very nice bike. So, bigger tank on this model for 2022. This, this tank is uh, 12 litres instead of the old uh, 9.1. Fuel economy around about 61, 62. Oh, it's just got so much torque. You can easily leave it in just about any gear you want and it will just pull. This is the HT engine, the high torque engine as well. 1200cc Bonneville high torque engine. It's such a relaxed, composed ride. And this is the sort of bike you want. We're just tootling around the country lanes. I didn't realize I was resting my feet on the exhaust. <laughs> So there are uh, heat shield cowls on the exhaust. I'm not sure how, how hot they're gonna get and whether it'd melt my shoes off. So the seating position on it is just a relaxed, very relaxed seating position. Pegs are slightly forward from where you'd expect them to be. So it does bring your feet forward, but it's definitely not a foot forward position like a cruiser. This is uh, sort of midway between a cruiser and a, you know, a, what I would class as a normal bike. As you know, cruisers are not my thing, really. But this is a comfortable position. Uh, whether I could get on with it long term, oh, I think you just, I think you just adopt it, wouldn't you? Seat height is very low, so it's very easy to touch the floor. And this is definitely, given the fact that this bike is also. 250 kilos 251 I think the actual number a bit vibey I've just noticed a little bit vibey so there's no rev counter on this there is just a simple one clock system but do you do you really need a rev counter I mean what information is that going to give you on a bike like this it's not going to add a lot to your sum total of knowledge is it Bar end mirrors are, well, they're solid actually. They are solid, no vibration there. It's impeccably well behaved. So we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, so we've done a little bit of suburban riding. Uh, well, we left Pidcock's there and we're gonna go on. We're gonna do this open road work to just see how the machine performs on the faster roads. And then we're going to go into Nottingham, do a bit of town riding, see what it's like around town, see whether you could commute on this bike. I think it's a definite yes. These handlebars are 800mm 
from end to end. I mean, you, you can filter with that. I mean, my, I think mine are wider on the Africa Twin. Wow. Yeah. It's got loads of go. But it's a 1200cc engine, so, you know, you would expect it to have. It's been sitting in the rain. It's a bit dirty. So I'm going to go to my normal walk around spot, do the walk around, take a few photos, and then we'll head over to Nottingham. So this is as well, I mean, it's all, well, pretty much all new for 2022. The style remains the same. Um, different sized front wheel, it's reduced from 17 to 16. They pulled the rake back a bit, only just a fraction. I think it's 0.4 millimeters just to uh, help with turning. They've given it new rubber in the Avon Cobras uh, just to help the suspension soak up the bumps. I mean, with this, with this sort of low profile style of motorcycle, and you can hear it in my voice now, you do feel the bumps through them. The, the front forks uh, have been upgraded. So they're now 47 millimeters. Uh, I think they were 41 before. The front calipers uh, are now Brembo's, two pop calipers on twin discs. That's an upgrade from the Nissins that were on before. Rear is a single pop Nissin caliper on a 210 disc, I believe. We'll do all that on the walk around anyway, so. But it does, it does feel good, it feels good. It's definitely a summer bike. Oh, change gear. I do that every time at this, at this island. Yeah, it's just so composed. It's it follows a line through corners. Follows a line, behaves itself. You do it in second gear, and you know you you don't have to trouble the gearbox going up and down through the gears all the time. It's like I said, with this high torque engine, it just gives you so much flexibility. Let's get in here. Stand is easy to find. Tips over a long way, doesn't it? Ugh. It's got a lovely profile, hasn't it? That seat looks really nice, can not it? I don't know, is that adjustable? No, I didn't know whether that was an adjuster under there, it's not. Right, let's do a walk around. turns in very very easily so you can end up sort of oversteering and have to do a little bit correction I mean that's just it's just a case of getting used to the bike isn't it really the clutch is nice and light front brake oh very strong yeah rear brake yeah it's a slower it's a slower downer isn't it a rear brake it's not it's not a stopper but it feels adequate and, you know, using it 
with your front brake, you're going to be nice and safe in braking. So ABS and traction control as per standard. The two rider modes, rain and road, we're in road. Definitely no need for rain. And also as well, the, these things are such pussycats, I think, that uh, I don't think you'd ever need the rain mode. So doing all the filming today with the 360, see how it goes, see how it goes. It does look like it's wobbling around a bit. So I'm hoping the stabilization is going to uh, stop that. See what I mean? I came all the way up there in fourth gear. It's got such a lot of power and torque across the whole range. And you just don't need to faff about changing gears and you know, it makes it just such a nice relaxing ride very well behaved in traffic just like I thought it would be easy filtering again like I thought it would be the only fault that I can find with it at the minute is just that um, and, it, and it's not I mean it's minor it's the um, suspension is a little bit rudimentary let's say Let's say rudimentary but you know it's not that bad the seat is nice and comfortable cups your buttocks I think this is a, a fabulously photogenic bike as well it, it's uh, it just looks cool it just looks cool it even makes me feel quite cool to be honest I'm a little bit so I'm a little bit cantered forward on it I'm not sat bolt upright. I've not got particularly short arms, but you do feel a little bit cantered forward on it, which I prefer actually, because the problem is with being sat bolt upright, it's quite jarring on the spine. You know, especially if your suspension is a little bit rudimentary, like I've suggested, well, not suggested, said, that this does feel to me It's got an odd little whine to it, this bike. Someone's going to shout at me. But you know, screw them. I up my duck. Famous bit of Nottingham graffiti up there. It's a beautiful day for cruising around on a motorbike, ain't it? Alright, so it may be a little bit warm, but, you know, it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that beautiful avenue of trees, it could be in Paris. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you big softy. You big softy. Now I don't want a game. <laughs> you softy. Go on. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? He's over there, look. He's over there. <laughs> Dog slobber on the lens. <laughs> so easy to, to handle. After stepping off a you know colossally heavy Africa twin where I'm on the balls of my feet onto a bike like this which is uh, still heavy you know it would compete with the Africa Twin in the heavyweight lineup but it doesn't feel it at all because it's all so low and like I say if there's any short people out there considering a bigger bike it's I mean this is just non-threatening inoffensive comfortable if just going out especially you know just going out sort of tootling about the, the other thing you know ideally these bikes I think are best suited for Sunday rides out to the cafe and uh, you know a, a blast around the country lanes whether you'd go touring on a bobber I mean you can do can't you you can go touring on any bike the Triumph website you know you can you can add multiple accessories to these bikes 
so check out their website there's the forest ground back into the premiership for nottingham forest not that i'm a football fan so the gearbox is it, it's quite smooth actually not that i've been using it very much i've just been leaving it in sort of fourth mostly so if you don't follow me on instagram and twitter um, just check wait until the end of this video and there's a, a link to my in fact i put them up now uh, a link to my twitter and instagram accounts and i'm on facebook as well i think it's motormobile 5 i don't use facebook very often i'm trying to use it more oh, i even went down into first then overtaking's a doddle but as i thought you know this just feels like the sort of bike that is totally at home on country lanes like these ideal for having a poodle seat's not wildly uncomfortable i am developing a little bit of an ache in my bum cheeks all right so i'm going too fast yeah i'm de developing a little bit of ache in my bum cheeks but it's nothing too severe i'm just going to stick a bit of fuel in the tank so my fuel light has just come on i think you can see all right i never know whether the camera angle is good or bad I can't see it. Ooh. So it's like I say, well I don't think I did say it, actually, this this is another bike in the Bonneville range. So up to now I've ridden the Speedmaster, I've ridden the the 120 Bonneville and the Speed Twin. Uh, and this is the next ooh, this is the next ride um, in that Bonneville group of bikes I'm not sure whether this is the last one actually that I need to ride in, in the Bonneville range I think there's four bikes in it I may be wrong so the next bike that I'm going to be riding will be the uh, Trident because now the hype's died down about the Trident I've still not ridden it um, now the hype's died down about it, I just want to go and see what that bike's all about, really. Just over a fiver. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh. oh! I actually made it up into sixth gear. I learned to ride a bike in that field. My little AP50, before I was allowed on the road. It is a bit vibey, so that's, uh, so the only two things that uh, I've got to say that are negative about this bike is, it's a little bit vibey when you start to open the throttle up, you can feel it up through my feet, through my bum, but you know, it reminds you you're on a motorbike, doesn't it? So. I'm not complaining about that, but I know there are some people out there that don't like that. You can feel it a little bit in the bars as well, but it's minor. It's very minor in the bars. It's not like the under the seat buzz that I'm getting. And who knows, you know, you might like a bit of a bum massage when you're riding along. <laughs> Easiest thing to go to do when you're going over bumps is just to lift your bum out of the seat especially if you think they're going to be big bumps like those are it does give you a hell of a lot of confidence this bike because it's so it, it, I, I know i keep saying this as well but it's you know the seat height is so low at 690 to 710 i think i said millimeters i mean those sort of heights it, it just means that you can just move the bike around really quite easily. So I did slightly singe my leg earlier on the exhaust, you know, sitting on the bike, resting my leg and uh, singeing my leg a bit. So yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm going to, uh, like I say, I always say that, don't I? Like I say, yeah, like I say, like I say, yeah, like I say. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to head back towards Pidcox now. I'm going to go the country lane route and a little bit more of the quicker road. But it is the ideal bike for this sort of riding. It's not a, it's not a bike you're going to race on, is it? But it has got lots of poke. 
got lots of poke, it's got lots of torque, and it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Like I say, I hope the camera is, like I say, I've done it again, I've done it. I hope the camera is in the right position picking up this footage. Oh, this is a, just a joy to just meander, just thumping along, minding my own business, not being offensive, not upsetting anybody. I do think it is one of the coolest low rider type bikes, coolest looking. It's all really quite simple as well, isn't it? The, you know, the dashboard layout, old fashioned analog type speedo. Minimum fuss, minimum fuss with it. And for some reason, I'm in rain mode. How did I do that? Back into road mode. Cornering is nice and precise, turns in easily. Super well behaved bike. But you know, if you are, and I've said this a few times this morning. You know, if you are someone who is uh, height challenged, let's say, I don't know what the PC phrase for being a short arse is anymore. I'm sure it's not short arse. However, you know what I'm talking about. If you are someone who struggles finding a bike that is, uh, you know, the right height for you and gives you confidence to ride, um, go and take a bobber out. Bobber jobber. It's the jobber. Yeah, go and take a bobber out and see what you think to it. Um, because it will give you that confidence that you don't have now. On a big, you know, a big bike as well. This is a, a big boy. But like, it's like I say as well, right? This is the 2022 version. I didn't ride, I didn't ride the uh, model before this. So I can't compare it, I can only tell you what this one is like. From articles that I've read about the previous iteration of this bike, this is by far and away the better bike. That's only what I've read in other articles, okay? Those are other people's words, those are not my words. So before anybody who owns, you know, a, a pre-2022 bobber um, has a go at me for slagging their bike off, I'm not slagging your bike off, I'm just saying that um, overwhelmingly that is what people have said that this is a better bike so don't hate me like and subscribe <laughs> so oh, oh, oh jesus christ oh man jesus yeah suspension rudimentary yeah so those are not my words those are the words of someone else okay so don't hate me for it like and subscribe <laughs> and I mean that as well like and subscribe my target for uh, when I go to the PCOS is that I want to get to 3,000 subscribers by PCOS which is October we are now on the 17th of June it's doable so come on give us a like and a subscribe please busting my balls here I'll put your shirt on man it's not a sight anyone wants to see no one wants to see that. Oh, it's great, it's great on these lengths. Get out there, give one a go boys and girls. You are going to feel confident wherever you are on this bike, I guarantee it. Moves around easy enough. Point and shoot. Point and shoot. So this direction, I've got the wind in my face, and it's also a fully naked bike. So you get the full-on wind blast, 65, well, 70 miles an hour. You know, it's going to sit there all day long. Well, faster than that actually. I did, I did uh, get it up to about 80 earlier. It would, it will sit there all day long. It would be knackering, mind, into a wind like this on a, on a fully naked bike. Man, that would really, really tire you out. Whew. I 
I've not been on this bike for very long at all, you know, it's um, time to take it out. I've been, on, I've been on the bike for about three hours and I've already got so much confidence with it, riding it. Let's try the cruise control. Is that one? Oh no, you have to press it again. So once turns it on, is that right? There we go, it's on. So you get a little green light there, so once turns it on, press it again and it, it's actual cruise control. But it is just like a throttle lock, so it's not an adjustable cruise control, it's merely a throttle lock. But you know, just being able to dive in and filter on a bike when you barely know it, because you've got that much confidence with it. It's just, it just makes your riding so pain-free, you know? The way this bike moves is just effortless. Not fighting it at all, you don't even have to counter steer with it. Basically, you lean it over and round the corner you go. So before I forget, I better do a sign off then. So uh, yeah, it's been a, a lovely, if not a bit, a, a bit of a hot day, to be honest. Um, I've really enjoyed taking this bobber out, it's been good fun. There are one or two bits with it that are a little bit, you know, not to my liking. The suspension, uh, I think, is it does feel a little bit rudimentary. Uh, the seat could be a bit more comfy because you can't shuffle about too much in it because it just cups your bum. So you can't sort of slide back or slide forward. You can move, you can move about a bit in it to get a bit more comfy. But uh, I mean, apart from that, it, it's it's a damn nice bike. It's cool. It looks good. Uh, it's got oodles of torque and oh, well it's it's the high torque engine obviously and uh, you don't have to keep changing up and, down, up and down through the gearbox you know it'll just you can just stick it in a gear and it, you can use that gear across a wide speed variance if you get my drift you know if you are a short ass and you need a bike or you're looking for a bike that's got a bigger engine uh, you, you know you're looking to step up to a bigger engine but all the bikes that you've tried up to now are all too tall then definitely have a look at the bobber because it's a nice bike to ride the next ride out that i'm going to do is actually on a harley davidson a harley davidson fat bob so uh yeah like and subscribe so you can you know keep up to date with the bikes that i'm taking out and doing reviews on 3k by picos 3k by picos that's what we're aiming for folks let's get it up there let's get the numbers up so i've been jack porter this has been the 2022 triumph bobber 1200 high torque um, and it's been a lovely beautiful morning out on it this morning i've enjoyed it enormously actually I've been Jack Porter, this has been the Motor Mogul channel, thanks very much for tuning in and, well, watching the review. I'll see you on the next one guys, see you later.